Hello, I just want to show you guys this little beauty here I picked up. It cost me 17 pounds. And basically it's a steel for, um, well, a lot of things really. So on top here, it's a 5-in-1 uh, steel for flint and steel fires. On top here you have a saw, which you can um, actually, it's a pretty good saw. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. On this side here you have a very sharp chisel. This rounded side here um, it has a very nice uh, 9 degree edge on it. And that one there is for your flint and steel fires. And then you have the top bit here which is for your ferro rod striking. But not to mention the bottom bit. Where is your um, <coughs> socket for your bow drill. Uh, I'm going to test that out as well. And the thickness and the top bit is supposed to reduce the heat of the bow drill fire. So let me show you all the features now and we'll give us a nice little test. Okay, so on this, let me just demonstrate the chisel side. So say you have some um, jute cordage here. You can um, use the edge of it and it will <coughs> cut through it. So that's, sorry, that's one bit there. Now you could also use it to um, scrape fat wood all right so there's your fat wood shavings um, you could make a split stick put it in a split stick and split some tinder that way that would definitely work this is very sharp uh, there's a good edge on this so that would work now the saw side here you can um, use it as a saw all right so as you can see there it, it does cut pretty well I was surprised but the thing is if you cut your fat wood up that way and you also have your little shavings there you can easily get so that's some more fat wood there <clears throat> now on this side here that's your side for your flint and steel fire um, I do have some chalk cloth here so we can test that out Just get a little piece and that's for my fires I'll put it there so uh, I'll put it here so there you are. There you go. Just there. So it does throw sparks really well, as you can see. There you are. I'm just going to leave that just there. See if we can get more sparks. Do you see? So, yeah, so this side here for throwing sparks, very good. And for ferro rod, you can use the top bit here. Right? Or you could pretty much use any side of it. You can see how um, this ferro rod throws sparks fairly easy. Um, and then there's a the top bit. So, and then there's the chisel side. Again, this is a good rod. I showed this rod in my last video, and that's that bit. Now, uh, let's see what else we can do with this. The saw, you could also, um, if you wanted to fluff up jute, because in the video they have a... Um, well, in the pictures anyway, because I haven't found any video footage of this. Is that there? And you have that there. So you put some little bit of cotton there. <coughs> uh, we'll use uh, the top bit. 
So I'm going to save this for the flint and steels. So I'm use top bit. Okay, so again that works. Nice, all my fat wood. But again, this is just. I did buy originally, I did buy the smaller version of this, which um, had the, the hole and the steel, and that was it. But I wanted the chisel and I wanted the saw and other bits on there because now I have a 5 on 1 tool that will actually um, do the job. And uh, I'm very happy with this. Like I said, I have all these sides here for a striker. The saw. I could use for whatever. So say I don't have my um, knife with me or whatever, it's at camp or I could always process something down to make it a bit more manageable. Like obviously I'm not gonna cut down big branches or anything, but you can cut it enough that it's something to work with. And then from there I could always split it, whatever, and then make some shavings just really handy again this is beaver bushcraft I don't think I mentioned that um, they have lots and lots of really nice stuff there uh, very traditional right, so again there's my little bits of fat wood I just got off this Gonna take over. There you are. Now I'm gonna test out the bow drill a bit because uh, I haven't done a bow drill in quite some time, mainly because the weather's so crap here. So let's give that a go and test out this divot. So to save time, I'm trying to start the hole off camera, but um, <clears throat> I did the little initial. Um, hole with uh, my little neck knife but now I'm going to start cutting the V and I'm using the saw side of this just to um, get in there and uh, cut the V in so I just wanted to show that um, on camera so I'm going to cut away and to start doing the road drill with the divot so I just want to show I am using this to make that. <clears throat> so again, just be careful with the chisel bit. That is sharp. And then let's just see if I can uh, get this started. So I got my hole started, um, didn't feel any heat off this, so that worked well. <sighs> Nothing inside of it, the end, it's just a little rounded, but um, let me put in a slice in this now and then uh, we'll get started. Right, so basically what I did, I did a starter hole. I used my spindle and did a wider hole. And then I took the teeth of this, the saw, and as you can see, it fits perfectly in there for the slice. So I just went like that, enough to cut a slice into there. So now hopefully that's uh, enough to uh, get an amber going. But we'll try it out now. So far, the handle's holding really well, just holding like this with the chisel side out.
I think you can see that. So. Happy with that. So. Um, I must say, every part of this that they tried to design works. So the chisel works really well. The edge is still there, still really sharp. The sole works in different ways from fluffing tinder to fatwood shavings to making notches, uh, slices for your bow drill. Your bow drill divot works well there. I didn't have any heat issues or anything. I showed you the sparks from the flint and steel. And then you had the ferro rod, but like I said, all the sides, minus the saw, uh, works really well with the ferro rod. So all in all, very happy with this. It's a very good purchase. Again, I got it from Beaver Bushcraft. I'll put all links in the description box below. I hope you guys like this. Um, I'm going to try to get into more primitive stuff. Um, I have some more bow drill videos coming up. <clears throat> Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll uh, catch you guys next video. Thank you. Bye.